Welcome back to another Tumble Kai tutorial. My name is Sensei Carlos, and uh, I want to thank everybody for all the support, the likes, the subscribes, and more than anything, the questions. So, one of the biggest questions that I'm getting back is, in Jiu Jitsu, do you use your legs? The answer is, yes, if you want to, and depending on the range and the distance. So, today's tutorial is basically going to cover our way of kicking in Jiu Jitsu. So, let me start with, uh, with uh, my partner. So obviously when people think of kicking, they think of either Taekwondo or Muay Thai, basically head kicks. So I've trained in Taekwondo, I've trained in Karate, so for me, square up, hands up, a uh, uh, round head kick is easy for me, I can get it up there. But is it the most practical thing to do is the question. What the conditions are on the ground are a variable. The position of things around you are another variable. Two things that in the situation that we're talking about or better said, in the context that we're talking about, are things that we don't want as variables. So how do we kick in jujitsu? Rule number one is we kick, and we keep the kicks below the belt. So I'm not making an effort to kick too high, I'm just gonna try to stick my leg out no higher than the waist, and even kicking to the waist is our equivalent of kicking to the head, and it doesn't happen very often. This starts our range fight. So a man can stand there, just work and relax, from this position, if, he threw, if I threw a kick at him, I wouldn't be able to kick him, right? So what distance is this? This is distance or range number four. The numbers don't matter. You want to call them A, B, C, and D? They don't really matter. I don't really get hung up on names or anything like that. I respect the tradition of the original names of techniques and things like that. I recognize all of that. But in reality, none of that does you any good in the, in the street application or in any type of application. So from this distance, how can I assault him? I can yell at him. I can spit on it, and I can take this assault to another level where my hands start disappearing. So I'm going to square off and face forward. If this is your perspective and this is what the person is doing in front of you, the minute this person draws back and this hand disappears, you need to close the distance. He's not handing you a business card, okay? This disappearing hand gives you, puts you in, in danger, so it allows you to be able to close the distance. Not to be aggressive necessarily, but to definitely close the distance. So, taking this away and keeping it at this distance, so this is what I'm kind of looking for. He moves his hand back, I'm gonna kind of move in. Not straight in, I'm already next to him. This is next to him, and this is in front of me. Okay? Into throws and stuff, not getting carried away. But again, this distance, something happens, disappears, I move in. Now we're in kicking distance. So now let's put one foot forward, one foot back. Again, roundhouse kicks and side kicks. Shoelaces to the inside, shoelaces to the outside. Doesn't matter. One, two. Again, not lifting my knee up really high, turning my foot and turning my head. One, two. Easy enough? That's where we're gonna start. Let's scoop in a little bit this way. So, no, right there. Foot back a little bit. No, 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 yeah. One, two, I can also step out and throw my side kick to the knee, okay? So, you need a partner, he's gonna put his foot forward, roundhouse, roundhouse, step out, side kick, side kick. I can also step to the outside and attack this way as well. Number one, long leg kicks, taekwondo, karate, capoeira, long way to kick. Work on that first. Alright guys, now that you've had a chance to work on that, let's get closer. So we went from kicking range to closer kicking range. So now we're technically in punching range. So he's grabbing me, trying to throw strikes. I have to switch the game up. He's much better than I am up top. So I have to start going to my high low principle and changing him up, trying to keep him following me, not me following him. So, I'm gonna cross grab, I'm gonna reach across, I'm not gonna collapse my arm, I'm gonna keep my elbow out, cause I'm gonna drive that knee in. See how my foot turns? I'm gonna switch, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. This, as of right now, is a partner drill. Do not kill your partner's legs. You're gonna have bumps and bruises. At this point, some people use knee pads and shin pads. I don't mean shin pads and knee pads. Take your time, learn control. One more time, 
His hands are out. I'm going to shoot across, bring it back, shoot across. Simple switch. One, two. Okay? That's on the inside. I can do the same thing by turning it and now attacking the outside. Come back to center. I'm going to switch and swoop onto the outside and I'm going to work both knees. So, knee inside, knee inside, knee outside, knee outside. Mm -hmm. When you're using your knees, do not show the bottom of your foot behind you. That means that you're swinging your knee and you're hitting with this top part right here, that's the muscle. You can knock someone out, sure, but is it the most effective way and subtle way to be able to put someone down and neutralize them? It isn't. This is a big move. This is what I'm looking for. Use the tip of your kneecap, not into bone, into muscle tissue to the inside or the outside nerves and muscle in the leg. So again, tip, see how my foot is nice and flat? In, I can come over and switch. In, and do the same thing as opposed to swing my leg. Okay, so strike, don't swing. Work on that. had a chance to work on the long range and the middle range. Now what I want to do is work it even a little closer. So this is going to require inside foot check, all right, or kung fu check, right? So but again, it ain't really not much. It's like you would kick a soccer ball using the arch of your foot. By the way, going back to us not wearing shoes, all of these are intensified when you have a giant piece of inch and a half or, or half inch rubber underneath you to strike it. So remember, that we're doing this barefoot for each other and out of tradition, but in actual application, we have our shoes and boots or whatever you have, right? So now, he's even closer to me. So now, using my knee, I don't get enough extension on my knee. So what I want to do is I want to, like we did with the knees when we were going across, cross kick, inside and inside. Notice the base of his leg is getting wider. So now, remember we said about kicking to the belt? My belt is now his chest. Why can I brought his base down? Let's try that again. Close, 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 cross kick, cross kick. See how it opens? Now, it's easier to move him back, and now I can use my knees. When it comes to range fighting, do not be the person that creates the space. Make him create the space. Okay? So I don't want to pull back and hit him because that's creating a space for him to hit me. I want to make him create the distance and he follow up afterwards. So in this particular case, I'm going to show you how we're going to go from inside, really close, to driving the knees, and now having the room to throw the kicks into this, into this, and that, and that becomes infinitely easier. Why? Because I took him out of where he wanted to be, widened his base, widened his base, widened his base, the whole time he's moving back. Notice. I'm right here. I'm the, I could be standing inside of a hoop. I could have things around me. He's the one bumping into things because he's the one going backwards. So remember, he creates distance. Review. Long distance kicking, middle range knees, close range, use your feet. And usually cross kicking is going to be the most efficient way for you to get power because you need a little bit of distance. So instead of hauling back, Right close, create distance. Close, create distance. He moves back, go to knees. Then you can do whatever you want to do, kicks. And remember, once the person is open and you have your entries, you can switch into whatever mode or style or original technique that you that you that you train. So let's do that one more time. Because because I'm getting all I'm getting all fired up. One, two, three, four. I'm a boxer. Bah, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. And working this way, right? Come in one more time. Up. One, two, up. Jiu Jitsu? Absolutely. Control. Make sure. Get your kicks in. This is the low with your leg. You covered so much stuff with the hands and footwork. This is how we use our feet. This is reviewed in the, the, the Kung Tao kicking set that we teach. It's basically the seventh out of eight sets. Okay, so, oh, it's actually the eighth out of eight. It's the last one. So, Kung Tao Kicking gets into this a little more extensively, but this is a basic tutorial introduction to it. Okay?
Enjoy. Work on that.